made a couple of videos previously covering how we pack up our systems for shipping. But this has recently changed because we now manufacture our own flight cases. We actually build them by hand. And each one takes us about 10 to 20 hours to build. So this is the new way that we ship most of our systems. We still ship some of them the old way. It's up to the customer. If they want to go all out, they can grab a flight case. So this is Radium 2. And right now I am just about to shut it down for the final time. So it's been through all of the testing. It's had so many additions. The CPU delitted. I'm actually shipping this system at 5.1 gigahertz, which is a record for me. I've never shipped a system at such a high overclock because obviously with customer builds, you need a 24 seven stable and safe overclock where the system is not going to overheat. But all of this testing has been done in an ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. So you can see right there, ambient 42 degrees. And you might be wondering why is the CPU loop and GPU loop cooler? The GPU loop is actually four degrees cooler. Well, that's because I've only just booted the system and I don't know, the coolant must have been a bit cooler. It will probably heat up soon. Plus the sensor for the ambient temp is actually down near the power supply. So it is a little bit warmer down there. So I don't know, let's just say it's 38, certainly hot enough, but you can see there 5.1 gigahertz, perfectly stable memory at 3200. And I've achieved this at 1.475 volts, which is quite a high voltage. But despite that, because of the D-LID, it still runs incredibly cool. Now it is idling, but even at this high ambient, it never goes above 75 degrees. But anyway, I have all of the results in the build log and also the D-Lead video. So it's time to pack this build up. Let's shut it down for the last time. Before it ships. And luckily it doesn't have to go too far. Our flight cases are unique. You won't actually find anything else like this on the market because they're built completely from metal, aluminium and stainless steel. There is no plastic. So all of the silver parts you can see are stainless. The protection on the corners, the latches, the handles, and also the wheels. The black is aluminium and also the white is aluminium. Now we can do these in a few different colors, silver, gold, black, white, and also copper. And we can also do the trim, the cornering in a few different colors. Anyway, it's time to start the most important part of the packaging, something that a lot of other people don't do or even think about, which is reinforcing the internal components. For a water-cooled build, this is absolutely critical. Mainly the GPUs. The extra weight on the graphics cards from the water blocks puts a lot of pressure on the motherboard. And even though we have this amazing high-end flight case with foam inside of it. We could wrap that in 50 millimeters of bubble wrap, which we are going to. And that's mostly just to protect the flight case to keep it in perfect condition. We now need to reinforce all of the internal components, absolutely everything with foam. So we just have this scrap foam and you can pick this up from, you know, basically a hardware or any store that sells foam, just ask them for scrap pieces, offcuts, and then you can pick them up really cheap and they're perfect for reinforcing the internals. The side panels are off and I'm just about to start installing foam into the inside of the case. Just a quick look at the inside of the flight box. So you can see that the bottom section is fully lined with 50 millimeter foam. And this foam is actually the most expensive part of the flight box. It, it's extremely firm and very high quality foam. So you can see that this is almost completely lined. Although we leave a gap open to allow for 
a little bit more movement because the foam is, is so firm that if the system did receive a big shock, you know, a little bit less foam is obviously going to allow for a bit more movement. It's going to be a bit more forgiving. So we usually, you know, ha have one strip where there's no foam or sometimes if it's a bigger system, possibly a couple of strips.